kann man, wie kann man? Für den Tag auf den Kerl noch. Es ist Bulle Kriege haun. Wann spürt es Gires? Er wird München des Gire kriegen kollen. Buch gauert es chillig in der Kehle. Kann man, torwarach na Sports. It's such rivalry between Kamus and Newtonmore, as Stephen Bothwick will tell you. It's a hard name to live up to. The Cheltenham's home in Chelsea for cancer, it's, it's just a bolt out of the blue. They told me it could be up to a couple more months before I'm able to play again. No matter what you do, you have to be determined if you want to succeed. Fashion and shitty, yeah, direct comparisons. <laughs> to beat them 4-2 was absolutely amazing. We didn't realise the achievements we would have made by the time we got to this. Davy Marka Fershina in your rear, it clicked her half fallen ears, he's a hand and all of her. A highly good vote, he hasn't even been a play in the moody. His gas grow a full and glit aisle, and all his crush a clue in a decent secretary. They actually done very well in my, my absence. They, they, got, they got to the Celtic Cup final and won, uh, and they also made it to the, the Macaulay Cup final. But uh, it's kind of, I got back into it towards the end of the season and it, it gave me the taster to, to get myself fit and healthy and ready for the start of the new season. And we've had a kind of bit of an inconsistent start, so we've kind of lost as many as we've won. Uh, but we're still in all the cup competitions, which is um, what we are in the really kind of thrive on at the start of the season. That's our main objective at the start of the year. So um, at the moment, the season's going well. Um, and hopefully we'll still be seeing that after the weekend. In your course, you can get a good result. You can get a good result in your area. The finals, the Celtic Cup's on their own ground in the winter from this year. So if that's not motivation for them to win it at home, then nothing is. La more can take it to Gaivy. They'll give them 100 percent as they always do in the Celtic Cup. And it's a great cup to win the Silver's Cup in Shinty. A cush in the tosh is a to skip it in your ear. Bit more of history with the, the Celtic Cup goes back a long way. My dad's name was on it with uh, a fine side. He won it with a fine side. My brother had won it with Strahar and Inverary. Uh, uh, I won it with Strahar. It's a family history uh, for the Celtic Cup. People look on it and say uh, it's Inverary's Cup, or we look on it as our own cup. But they've worked at it for years to get to that final. And they made sure they got to that final, I think, because it keeps driving them on because they've won it the previous year. The Celtic final last year, David had never played in that, and you could see that's one thing he missed was the actual involvement in that final. Uh, I think in that time, he made up his mind he was going back to play in That's his sport, and that's what he loves doing. A skipper hoolish out of Ikumal Smarker Kuznik, Mullican League. I guess if follows her Kurson, they smell at the Klich and you. Had trained, larger, I guess Juris of Kinjeku. A dive your Klich Katurukas, I had a Meskin look care. I can your Kushne, Dolrovato, in your ear. Oh. Oh. 
Sana kushne dollars mese pulo kaivenesh. If we had that kind of dig at the start of the game, it might have been a different story, but it was just a, a wee bit too little too late. It is very disappointing. I mean, they hadn't even beaten us here until the start of the season for many as a year now. That's twice in, in two games, and that's very disappointing, especially the Celtic Cup. We kind of regard that as um, our cup, really, at the moment, because we've won it so often. Um, but not to be today, Kyle's were the better team. How we're hitting just didn't start. We were kind of topping the ball at, um, and then they were first every every ball and their hitting was far cleaner, far better. Um, and they got the, the goal straight after our goal, which was important for them and not so good for us. Cup games, we don't don't lose that many of them and when you do, it just makes you more determined and um, just want to go out there and start again. And We are out of the Celtic, but we're not out of the Macaulay and we'll still be here again fighting next year. A quarpish ele and the Sul Kamanach could kinky Eja Gaydena play Neil Markafi, Agus Tunnaker Roger, and now Ryan Agus Thomas Borswick and the Cooper V. Kavish. In Kerastan, a Kanyakari Kinya Yuzi. Silverway in general mean, you know, means a lot, especially to a club like Fort William. We've done well in the Kamanach in, in previous years, so. We're almost spoiled. We're used to winning almost, so it, it would be great to take something home this year. I well, we've had a good few results going into this match, so pretty confident, yeah, but we're willing to be a really good team, so it could go either way. Bikini Gusik and Dorcas, Kamishnik Tilligan Skipper, Acha Royal Rush, and Skipper Galeer and you. It makes no difference, you know, we've beaten them with them, we've beaten them without. Um, you know, we've obviously got our game plan and we'll be hopefully sticking to it and taking the cup home, hopefully. I just think it'd mean everything. We want to go out and get as many trophies as we can. We don't take anything for granted, so it'd be real good to win this trophy. Hopefully we can. I'm feeling confident. Um, a lot of the boys are. We've been training hard, obviously, all year. Um, a bit of dieting, thanks to Scott Callender, our, our new uh, dietitian. Um, but other than that, you know, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. And a fourth look to Gals Mach, get again, Wundersha. A Coram Kuyunanach, get a Gerastan, a Hanilam Bal Kulach, a lot of Kulalin. And get us to the faint hole. Thanks to Nesh, left that hole at Gag Skipper and Game House Bell. I like to wait, see how things turn out. If you apply some pressure, I like to wait and see how things turn out. If you apply some pressure, and the boss looks like a skip of Hindi music, a Tinya Dash, Galatier. The streaker is a show, the Neil Dunnach and Ryan is Thomas, and the Jewish man is Barnier.
Jeff Nur Hulu to Kinjiki can get us to Nerash, let her, the Fedek and Game to Univara, and Sarlu, Will Ross, a good key of her cushion. I guess Shane, a kin you see Kitchena Gagroy, Heke Shown How, and Jill of Porthwick, Eden Doy Clan. It was hard, we had to put in a lot of work. Fort William played a really good game, so all credit to them, but I thought the teamwork of the boys today was just tremendous, so I think a win for us is probably the fair result. Stalking a crocusion, Uluki lead, Sporsal. Hey, Ryan. I think it was probably two all, three two at the time, so I knew I was, I was trying to get the ball, but you know, the yellow card was worth it if it stopped Gary, how deadly he is from around that area, so can't complain. Well, they're important. They're young guys. They're learning. I mean, it's their first sort of year last year playing, so uh, they've got a sort of year experience under their belts and another game to another final today. I mean, they're lucky at their age to be to be winning the medals, at McTavish Cup, getting McTavish Cup final. So, uh, and they've got full energy, which is what you need now in, <laughs> in the game because it's it's highly paced and they've they've got to be fit. And these guys are gelling in well, and they'll be it all bodes well for the future of the club. First silverware of the season, and we've managed to get it. So we'll just see where we can go from here. Daniel Agastonoche, she prisha tool can take a hound. Didn't take chances again, Shinty, that's just what Shinty's all about, taking chances. Their goal had quite a few good saves, saved a penalty. And any other day, you know, and we could have been up going into half time, but we weren't, it was even and, and they nipped it at the end. Duncan played very well. Um, I feel sorry for him. Uh, you know, over the last five years, every captain for Williams picked up a silver mountain to Cameron. Unfortunately, Duncan's won't get that this year. But he's got youth in his side. You know, bounce back. I think at the start of the season, everyone knew we were going to go through a transition period, a bit like can you see? Uh, they've obviously ma maintained their, they're still winning things through the transition, and. Uh, I mean, we're hoping to, obviously, we're struggling this year at the moment. Um, we've only got the league left. We've still got a chance in the league. We've got everything to play for. Eh, all is not lost. You know, we're, we'll keep on fighting until the end. Megiddy Halb, Hala Surik Lisa Norman. I guess Tawish, Jay Heidish. Kamenach. Halisa Nesha Kluichter, skipping Nash and Dinah Halipa. I guess I train a Glewison in you. This is one of the few opportunities where I get to come and have someone else tell me what to do all day and I just get to train and play, so it is quite nice. <laughs> uh, well, we started off with a 45-minute um, circuit session doing fitness. Um, Stephanie takes us for that, she uh, puts us through our paces. Um, and then we went into... So um, we split the group up and some of the girls who haven't done so much of the sort of composite rules, blocking uh, and tackling, uh, we're doing a bit of that. And then a group of us were doing some forward shooting drills and just movement off from the ball. I think for the men's game it's slightly different. It's obviously much bigger and for them, a club shinty and the Kamenach Cup final, you know, the Scottish Cup, they're all, that's the pinnacle of their game. And the international for them this year is quite different. I think because the women's game is still developing. I think the, the introduction of the international, what it's helped do is bring girls together and take them on to that next level. So we've really used the international training to help develop the girls. So I think for them, they don't have maybe the same history as the men do. So it's been a bit easier to introduce that and, and uh, really work towards that as uh, the highlight of the season. With the girls' improvement and everything else, there is a vast improvement every time I watched it. I mean, my sister's been playing for, I think, about maybe 10 years now and just watching her come through and the players that she plays with. I've noticed every year, every season, the training's getting more serious and even the talk about the Shinty is getting more and more involved. 
So yeah, the improvement every year has come on leaps and bounds. I mean, you've got uh, about three or four divisions with the, the girls and it's not just the league, so we've got like, it's according to the schools now as well. And there is a big massive push. Lisa Norman has done a lot of pushing that way as well. She's been in the, the makeup for the team for the last, well, God knows how many years since the international probably started. Uh, but it's just absolutely fantastic the amount of effort she's put in with Aberdour as well. She set that team up and actually I used to play for myself for a transfer. So I've seen firsthand what she does at training and how committed she is to actually playing. So. Uh, I think a lot of the girls are in the same position, you know. Uh, we're all good friends and it is, it's, it's more of a coming together and it's quite a good social thing. The driving about the country, I suppose it sometimes takes its toll, but you know, on a beautiful day like that today and you can drive up the A9 and although it seems a, a bit of a drive, it's, for me it's not too bad an hour and 45 minutes, but yeah, to come up here and nice wee drive on a Sunday afternoon and then play a bit of shinty and then go home again. And back to work tomorrow. Ha Eddie Tambor Torgan Days in a good shaker did a garage blown. A fair chill in the game, me as the strain of a two licker. Tying the yaki puncher, I guess a good sprite keen. Not 100%, but uh, it's, it's come on a lot better. Um, I was supposed to be off another four weeks, according to the doctor, so to be back playing at all is brilliant. Uh, the shoulder doesn't feel too bad at all. I'm building up the muscle. Um, I'm just trying to get my fitness levels back up to, to what they were before I got injured. But we do need to win today. We need to get the two points. Um, we need two um, to be mathematically secure at this stage. So if we can do it now, and um, the manager told us to maybe try and put on a show for our, for our fans, because most of our base, best performances this season have been away from home and they haven't really had a chance to see it. So it would be good to have our last home game, play well and get the two points. You think you're the idiot at our top of and skipper? Like I know the good thing you can have fear or fun dodger. Can you get the lady in fact years in a horse that's fall of one game? Sulemik will all on your compost look at the skipper gale. I guess Upper Kill Eddie Kett can make a course that lets a heat game make a rush as a skipper. The temperature is hot and um, it was quite fast paced, especially when we had a lot of pressure in the first half. Um, we were allowed to move up the field quite a lot, so yeah, it, was, it was quite hard going. I stayed off it last night for today, so, and I've worked up a nice, a nice thirst, so yeah, straight over there for a few beers. The skill is to be able to get the three of the Jack Asher Clue and the three of 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 the I was in school at uh, Nethy Bridge in Strathspey. He had always born in Glasgow. Uh, I moved up, up there uh, when I was about uh, 11 years of age and I learned the game there in the school. So that was uh, my introduction to Shinty. In the old days, the Camelot Association, well certainly the Southern League executive, allowed you to referee, provided that both teams agreed, if there was no referee available. As a result, if I didn't have a game on a Saturday, they would be knocked out of a cup or something like that. They came and asked, would you like to referee the game for us, Jack? I said, well, OK. Now, at that time, I hadn't seen the rule book, you know. I had been refereeing uh, quite regularly. 
Uh, and then the Kamach Association said, would you like to come on to her books officially as a Kamach referee? And so you could be posted uh, anywhere to referee a game. And they sent me the rule book and I was appalled to find that, as I say, unwittingly, we'd all been there. Uh, unwittingly, we often committing fouls which were, which were accepted because uh, we didn't know any better, quite <laughs> frankly. I think my first final, big final, was the Glasgow Celtic Society uh, game many, 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 many years ago. And since then, I've uh, done all the major finals that were open to me, <laughs> and so on. And enjoyed it very much, I must say. She came lua on the Kamenuch, and I said, I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to Jack. Unless you've got binocular vision, it's difficult to judge depth and distance. It's also you've got limited field of vision, and if you're... Uh, very fast fit, which I was at the time. You, you, you position yourself in such a, a way, as a matter of fact, and so because you're familiar with how the game develops and the style of play, etc., you're uh, very little should escape you, actually. Being fit is very important. That and the help of two very good goal judges, it's very important to have goal judges and linesmen. I don't think enough emphasis is that on these days because they're a tremendous help to our referee. If anything's on behind his back, the linesman in the, behind him would be able to inform him, put up his flag and let him know that there's been a, a contretemps between him, the two of the players or that uh, there's been a bit of niggling going on. And that allows you to go back and approach the player and says, my official just inform me, he says, that he, both of you, he says, I'm misbehaving. If it happens again, I'll be taking action, right? And he will inform me. Uh, that way you help to keep them on the pitch. But Ian Sunshine Roger and Lahr, nor Ryan Kilavalia Hoosier and Skipper Eckerson in Kerastan. Root of a Tulicha, the Vacha, Klikiga Skipper Hilvali. How he a Kaleos and Nage Macher, now Mace Kianos Toprach Vichal, Peter Jackson, a Kutjak, now manager at Kilvali. There was always the, the story here that we only employed Kilmali Shinty players here, but I mean, that myth was knocked out of the, the window a long, long time ago. We, we employ all sorts of people here. We employ 160 people here now, so I mean, we've probably got 20 guys that play Shinty, either for Fort William or for Kilmali. We had a couple of Lacabre ones as well, but they've, they've left, so I mean, it's a mixed bag. You know, I've got to take off my Kilmali Shinty hat and put a come in here on a Monday morning and I'm production manager, so I mean, I couldn't have them falling out anyway. I mean, if they were falling out, I'd hear about it and we'd probably need to have a sit them down and I talk to them. Because um, if I didn't do that, my bosses wouldn't be happy. So we try to keep it friendly, right? Away. We'll be underdogs. I mean, no, just because we beat them the last time, I mean, probably for well, William had a lot of chances, but we took our chances, and that's what any sport's about. Uh, so they're definitely going to be out for revenge. But I mean, when it comes to a local derby like that, our guys are so up for it that I mean, they're not going to make life easy for Fort William either because it's all about bragging rights when you get to a local derby and, and I mean, our boys have probably enjoyed the last couple of months so I'm sure Fort William want to get back into the position that they've been in for many a year where they've had, they've been top guns so, but we'll do our best to stop that happening. It's always going to be the same game, it's always going to be tight, we'll see how this goes. We want to win obviously, if we win this game as well, it'll be five league games in a row, it'll be ten points out of ten and obviously it'll help our league campaign. Das gibt es uns gide, ha klärt gide, ist drie Spanje neue Kehle. Dache Uhr, eigens Kormir Gieltes, wie schau ihn denn auch. Hey, Borob. I guess I'm going to go to Sunshine and Kater Kushin will all the path get. The Savile to Hooling. And get us in the fine Lava Nook and Kamatra. I guess they kneel Makafi and Prosnaki. 
at the Kumusmarker Kushen from Gamer Fat. Can you click it in Hill Valley or in Leverkusen? Open crew, I can reach it. I guess I can if you smack, who may let it look lengthy. What does it matter? He's not going to change his mind, does he? Ik laat nu je koeken nog niet, dat skippen ik er eens tegen. Aper Gieltes. Disappointing for us, we've been scoring a lot of goals recently, so just not even score a single goal is pretty disappointing. But big game next week as well, Glenacker. So we'll be looking for two points here, be a bit more survival. You know, we wanted to beat them obviously after the last two times they beat us, so can't get any more satisfying. It's always sweeter when you beat Kilmarnock, just as sweet it is for them when they beat us, and that's why there's such a rivalry, um, especially at Canal Parks. In a smaller park, it makes it a lot more close and physical, and a better game for the fans as well. I can go home with my head held high now. Uh, I've taken a bit of a ribbon uh, the last few months, but uh, normal service has resumed. Absolutely, like I said this morning, we were wanting 10 points out of 10, and that's 10 out of 10, so we'll have to set some new goals. And now, here is it, come on. And the Portsmouth Soccer Fain Teich for Nadich and Pluto. A Kenya Hospital Ile, Davy Machke Fersheng. Alisa Norman, a Mishnaka, Kenya Lahur, Jer Renaka Nimeng. A Eddie Tembo Nimpisha, Hain Huyaka, and a Dream at Rochek. Agus ek niel mag gefier, ik hoor reine giano, het er een veerpersente, een veertriochkel, agus imeng.